Hey guys, what's up? Kevin is back here for you. And this is my Razer XT910, the Motorola Razer. It's really awesome phone, awesome looking, very rugged, very solid here. Nice looking Kevlar back. And today I want to show you how you can even make it better. So guys, um, as you know, I tried out AOKP and CM10 for this phone. The unofficial versions, of course, there is not an official support of CM of Cyanogen mod team. But um, today I want to show you how to dual boot ROMs. These Kexac ROMs um, weren't able to to um, to support this boot menu manager for second and first system. But um, now I want to show you guys how you keep this um, stock system as you see it here and um, how you can install a second system with a Kexec ROM. So just install boot menu, I will give you the links in the description. Boot menu from the Play Store, it's free. And go to second system manager. Um, make sure um, these op options are on here. Insecure A, ADBD and custom init. You have to tap install a zip package. You have to also check these options here, clear, da clear data and cache before install and clear Delvic uh, cache before install. Just tap add the zip to, to Q. Um, but you only have to do that when you already downloaded uh, this ROM in the description. Maybe you want to have AOKP or CM10. But before you hit this install button, you have to make sure your ROM is converted. So when you're, so just go to start page, welcome. Use ROM converter, I already have converted this ROM. And when you want to convert your downloaded ROM, you have to also check, this is very important, Patch second in a root FS safe trap. Tap that and convert a zip. So now you convert the ROM you have downloaded. I have um, actually saved it in ROM stuff, I think. I, I think. Yes, stock CM10. We um, take this here for this example installation here. Tap it and it will um, convert it, the ROM. And the converted ROM will look like this here. When you have converted the ROM, um, it will look like BM boot menu. So in capital letters BM and then the ROM file. So go to second system manager. These are checked here. Install a zip package. Tap this here again. So guys, you go to your SD card and install your ROM and the the, um, the patch, which also the link is given here down in the description. So first zip, zip file is a BM um, boot menu stock, so this will look like this here. So this is added to queue number one. Second zip is the patch actually you downloaded from the description. Uh, go to your download folder or where, where you have placed it. Uh, it's called boot menu patch version um, 0, 0.0 blah blah dot zip and uh, make sure it's the um, most recent, the latest one, but uh, that's not so important. It has to be 0, 0 0.5 I think to work properly and it was optimized, but um, just tap it. You see second um, is the patch and the third one it's easy, it's the, um, of course, the G apps you need for every um, Kexec ROM, for every A AOSP ROM. The J G apps Jelly Bean, I will give you the link in the description, also the latest one. Just tap it, so we have three zips, zips here. Just tap OK and uh, your phone will ask you to reboot now. Tap OK. And now we can wait some seconds here. It will boot to you uh, to your boot menu recovery and um, install these zips. So the system will actually 
um, do everything for you. You just have to wait. So you see these scripts here, I always watch them. I find them very, very cool. It's really fun to uh, flash forms and I love Android, really nice. So thanks to the developer team, um, they made it possible and thanks yeah, for the whole community. I just have to say this because it's really nice. Now you can um, have your stock ROM, this everything working and just you can change to second system and watch a nice jelly bean um, system and it's really cool to have that. Um, so this is actually installing the unofficial CM10. Starting the installation that's always you have to wait. So this um, installation um, process will take you one or two minutes. It's um, installing this um, patch here from the XDA developers. Looks like this here. Really cool. And um, this um, is now complete, the um, patch, and now it installs the um, G-Apps. I can see the progress bar here. Really great recovery with this nice Android here with the gears. Yeah, now it's ready. It wait, um, now you have to wait till it reboots the system, the new CM10. Really great to have um, support still going on, so uh, intense for this phone. Love it. This phone is awesome. And really fast you get amazing scores in, in Quadrant 6900 points. With this phone it's not the latest phone out there from Motorola but really slim phone. So when you want to boot the CM10 ROM um, when it boots just wait um, till the yeah the screen here. Tap it and choose another ICS ROM. You can rename it to CM10 and the build date for example and you have very organized. So now you can see the boot animation of CM10 And the red light here indicates um, that we are booting to second system, in case you don't know it. Yeah, looks great so far. This Kevlar here is always some fingerprints on it. We are up. Um, that booted really fast for the first boot actually. Um, yeah, we keep the English language here. Welcome, just a second. Skip. Why the hell does it took so long? Well, it takes so long to just detect that I'm not using a SIM card. That's really weird, I think. Yeah, welcome, just a second. Wait, yeah. I could have tell, told you that. Yeah, but don't worry about that. Um, so just signing into my Wi-Fi here. But we don't need Wi-Fi. So just not now. So you just see it's Jelly Bean, really cool. Yeah, now we're ready. And as you see here, we are running second system Jelly Bean. Absolutely love it. Yeah, I can show you for confirmation, but yeah, the Jelly Bean game. Ooh, I actually saw a candy cane here. But well, that's another topic. Yeah, so this has worked guys. You can now boot into your first or second system. When you have CM10 installed, just um, hit reboot. 
or power off that's not important and when it boots up just tap the screen when you see the green android and yeah, yeah now you can choose between two systems and i think that's really cool so when you like this tutorial please hit that like button here and subscribe button up there yeah this is the screen just tap it Yeah, that was a, a fail. No. Yeah, you just tap the system you want to boot. Yeah, here. Just tap it or go to custom recovery if you want to wipe something else. Also. So guys, see you in my next video. Have a great day.